Bearman Crypto where we talk all things crypto. In today's video guys I just want to share with you some stats that I've seen on MENA protocol that have made me well continue to make me very bullish about MENA in the long run and I'll share with you some of those um, stats that I've come across. But just a quick overview about what MENA is. It's MENA is essentially the lightest um, blockchain um, out there and it specifically focuses on a zero knowledge technology um, in terms of how it runs its its protocol and this is a project that well the token went live back in 2021 around about June 2021 and since then the project the price itself has performed um, it performed re relatively well in the last bull run um, but obviously it's now down it's now been hit hard by obviously the bear market however in the background what's really been happening is developers have continued building on the on the protocol and there's a vast amount of development happening in the background and i'm not sure if everyone's aware of what of this development that's taking place as you can see here in terms of just a, a stat about mina itself in terms of how much storage it takes to to run um, the blockchain you can see here 22 kilobytes versus other blockchains which are closer to around 300 gigabytes so that is a stark contrast um, you can see in terms of how well um, they show that that specific stat on how they are the lightest um, blockchain and really what MENA seeks to do and resolve is specifically three things. It's around decentralization, um, scalability, as well as privacy. And, you know, this is one thing that they're seeking to address within um, crypto. And specifically the stats that I wanted to cover off uh, and show you what I've been seeing really is specifically around this this um, visual here which shows basically um, developer commits over a period of time um, and here we can see here so Mina is the one in black you can see um, middle of last year um, Q1 last year they basically their development spiked and then obviously has has come down but compared to other blockchains you can see here uh, number one which i covered in previous my previous videos is icp and closely followed by mina which is ranked number two and this is over the last 12 months if we drilled down to the last six months and look at those stats you can still see uh, mina is performing relatively well so you've got number one icp sushi swap at number two and again you can see the level of development on mina it's sitting at number three and just as a reminder again this is out of um, at the time over the six month time frame this is um, across 188 um, cryptocurrencies so this is one of the things why i'm bullish specifically about mina i was bullish about mina previously already anyway but based on this i'm now looking to start to dca in and grow my mina bag again not financial advice please make sure you do your own further research i'm just sharing with you what i'm doing and you should make sure you um, invest the time and effort into doing your own research before investing your money of course so if we have a look at in terms of the price performance for Mina, so we've basically just hit an all-time low for Mina. Um, that's not to say it can't go lower. It can definitely go lower, of course. But from what I'm seeing in terms of the development, there's no better time, in my opinion, to start to DCA into Mina. It's got an all-time high of nine dollars and nine cents, and for the price to go back up there, it's gonna, you know, that will be about a twenty x. And if we look at specifically circulating supply, circulating supply is sat at 793.94 million um, out of a total supply of 990. 
that is of course not the max supply to max supply so this is an inflationary token but it's not one that will absolutely just dump everything this is one this is inflationary in terms of um, the rewards that will be emitted from um, running um, the, the protocol over a period of time um, just having a quick look at here on token unlocks we can see at the moment um, over 67 percent of the tokens have actually are already in circulation so again a bit of reassurance that this is not just going to dump of course and you can already see that that vesting schedule all the it's already basically in motion and most tokens are already in circulation so when this ico took place this was the ico took place back in april 2021 unfortunately i wasn't lucky enough to to get a, a bag then but now we can see the ico took place around about 25 cents we are not too far away from from that price point so again it just gives me a bit more confidence that this could be a great buying opportunity um, at the time the ico took place on coin lists which is um, was a fantastic site for picking up some great projects at the time during the bull run and if we have a look down here in terms of who are the some of the key backers for uh, mina protocol you've got the three arrows capital you've got circle pantera um, obviously there's FTX Ventures but I'm not sure what level of involvement they will have now given everything that's happening and then in terms of strategic investors one of the ones that always grabs my attention is specifically Fenbushi here um, again Fenbushi um, has got um, Vitalik as an advisor so if they're investing in something it's got to be worth looking into and then obviously people involved in the seed round you've got coin base ventures down here and we can also see how the tokens were distributed so you can see here it's a fairly even distribution with a large chunk reserved for the community um, so if I just have a look now in terms of specific price points I am basically looking at where can I de start DCA into MENA and at this current current price point where we're at um obviously the price has had a lot of um it's been on a downward trajectory um obviously we're in a bear market so that's something to to bear in mind um however at the moment we're now entering psychological levels so i'll be looking at dcing at current prices but if the price does go down further i'll be looking at 40 cents and the next level will be around 30 30 cents and again these are pretty much just psychological numbers really at this point um, this is a relatively new project which only just launched it hasn't been through a bear market so that's just something to bear in mind if we just have a look at a few indicators here to see um, if there's anything of interest so if we just pull up the MACD and given uh, where we're at at the moment um, this supports that the price is definitely still on that downward trajectory we can see that that blue line is below the red slash orange line so anytime that the price the the line the blue line does go cross over above this red line and it crosses above this um, zero line um, and you start to see these green histograms printing then that's usually a, a sign that the price is going to pump by the moment we can see that that is highly unlikely if anything the price could dip a bit further so there could be um, good opportunities to buy in a bit lower so that's just something to keep an eye out on and if we have pull out the stochastic RSI we can see here we're down in this um, oversold territory so again slightly conflicting in the sense that you obviously uh, looks appears that we're oversold so it would suggest that we're the price will go up at some point so that's just something to think about it's where do you do you balance do you buy in more or do you DCA in slowly so for myself I'm looking to DCA in round about these psychological levels so around 40 cents and if we dip down further be looking at 35 cents for the next bag and then around 30 cents um, to buy another bag of Mina but then again 
we might not go that far down and this could just be presenting you with a great opportunity to buy in um, but I just wanted to just share that with you guys um, if you're enjoying this type of content please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you aren't subscribed already please make sure you smash that like button so everyone gets to see some of this uh, meaner content but that's all I got for you um, just continue to stick around and pay attention during this um, boring period in the crypto markets um, it presents fantastic opportunities um, and I'll see you in my next video